Okay, so nitrous. Is there anything I need to know? Should I manually shift it or just let it? I mean, you just gotta floor it. Hold, <laughs> hold the button, man. You got it, brother. Hell yeah, brother. You're on the Please Me Fun YouTube channel. You order some parts? That that same day? It reminds me of my old butte. <laughs> the only problem is it only does one wheel peels. You gotta weld so, it for that. Today we gotta fix that. Guys, this is our Summit Racing Equipment burnout van that we told Summit Racing, if they're gonna sponsor the Burnout Rivals, we need to have something cool to represent the Summit brand versus you know the traditional style. So they were like, hell yeah, let's build a burnout van. So we found an LS powered burnout van. Really? Got a damn six liter in it. What do you say we got to do to this thing to make it do better burnouts though, James? I mean, they're kind of weak. Nitrous makes everything better. Nitrous, rear, brake delete, and weld the diff, I guess, right? Pretty much the list. That's weld the, the diff. Whole, that's the whole list. Yeah. Nitrous, I mean, just nitrous alone, you know. <laughs> that's <laughs> well, all that's done to my cut van. The, cut the exhaust. What do you think of that engine, dude? That's pretty sad. I'm just making sure it's not like, uh, it's, it's looking like it's a Gen 4 but doesn't have like the variable, variable cam time and all that nonsense, which is a good thing because we don't want that thing Hell in there yeah. phasing back and forth and whacking <laughs> out. This thing is very stout, folks. I mean, how could it not be? It's got a damn bald eagle on the hood. Let's show them the back though. This is the craziest thing. So we had to find a van with a six liter in it, which was, was not as easy as we thought. We ended up getting one of these racks in the back. Look at Jesus. Well, this is a, it's a parts to look at. You got to deal with yeah, dude. Separate the orders and everything. Uh, that's what I'm saying. So we are going to spend the rest of today turning this thing into the ultimate burnout van. So we got uh, some nitrous kits. We got some welding to do on the rear diff. And then we got uh, a tune it. We're going to tune it. Dr. Tune them all. Pop a fresh burnout tune on it. Yeah, I mean, he's, he's done the burnout tune and white trash and he's yet to let me down. So. I know, dude. Hell yeah. We got a little bit of time before Dr. Tune Mall shows up. We better get to welding and nitrousing. James, what do you think about this rear end? It's going to be an easy gig for you? Oh, yeah. Dude, it looks nice in there. Dude, it looks good. Dude, look, it's got brand new shocks on it. The transmission's been redone, rebuilt. You know, yeah, it's got new, a new converter. converter in there. <laughs> Someone took care of this, man. Yeah, the only thing we got to replace is the starter is going out. That's that, like, tink, tink, tink. The starter, like, kind of hanging out and hitting the flywheel. So we got a new starter for 150 bucks. Yeah, yeah, we'll get it fixed. All right, guys. So James is welding up the exhaust for our side exit. <laughs> it's only right that it has this beautiful side exit pipe. Hell yeah. So the freedom just really flows right out the side. The rear diff is welded. Them things are welded up good. All right, folks. So we have a new starter. We have a welded diff. We have side pipes, which look beautiful. I mean, it just makes a whole van. Recycled stock exhaust. I love it. That's how it's got to be, dude. Oh, <laughs> that's the burner leg hair 9000 right there. And then uh, we got... Dr. Tune them all on his way, but I think we're gonna fire it up just to hear it. Doing the old crawl through. I'm ready. Hold on, let me back up. All right, hit it, brother. We got Dr. Tune all in the house. What's happening? Really? Damn, I'm already linked up. About to lay down a tune on this thing. Hell yeah. <laughs> what size jet are we doing on the nitrous kit? 50, 53 jet. So like a little under 100 shot of nitrous? Just, just enough to get them smoking. Hell yeah. And we got no rear brakes now and a welded diff. So I mean. Oh yeah. We're going to be ripping. We know when the wide band's in there, it's getting serious. Oh yeah, we got to make sure that air fuel is just right. Oh dang, brother, let's go. All right, guys, we're heading over to Showtime Speedway, which is right next to the shop. To do some quick burnouts and some tune-up stuff. Make sure this thing's running right. Can you take the idle limiter off, or like the park limiter off? Yeah, you did. Oh, you already did? Pretty sure, yeah. What'd you set the limiter at? Six and up.
ready for an all motor rip, really? I'm ready to Oh, you got your air fuel? Got it. <laughs> ready? So we're adding some fuel, it's a little lean. Y'all ever seen a van peel out of sight like that? <laughs> Wait, I, missed her. I didn't see a peel out. We were laughing, we were like, damn. It's pretty fast. I blinked and I missed her, man. It was that fast. What's up? It took him two days to catch up. Dude, That's how fast it this was. This thing's fast, but watch I'm out. I'm telling you. It's I my... mean, you guys got spray on it? or what Yeah, happened? of course. Absolutely. Look. Okay, well, I see when a second kit came on, I mean, I couldn't catch it. I was trying to reel you in. And... I literally have the bottle right here. Nice. So we're going to do a couple more pulls to make sure the air fuels are good, hit it with the nitrous, and then we're going to try a burnout. Sounds good. Here we go, brothers. Stout you in it. Ready for another rip? Ready. All right, can I do a little burnout and roll out of it? Do it. I'm gonna do a little burnout and roll out of it. See what happened is it upshifted. Yeah. We gotta it's, manually do it. That sounded like second. We we got though. stock valve springs. You need to simmer down over there. <laughs> yeah, bro. <brother. laughs> Listen, after this we'll do a cam, valve springs and stuff for the next race or you know, something. But she saw she's stock. Can't be revving her to the moon. Eighty six hundred. Stock? Like about eighty two hundred. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, on the kit, it's gonna do a nice burnout if it already does it that good. So Jared Deanna called me about burnout rivals. I'm like, bro, I gotta make a pull in a van. Are we doing nitrous? Yes. Oh, brother. Okay, so nitrous. Is there anything I need to know? Should I manually shift here or just let it? I mean, you just gotta floor it. Hold the, hold the button down. You got it, brother. Yeah, here we go. The first notch, should I hit it from a bit? Like, we're going tow haul? Where's the tow haul button? Toe hole, traction off. Traction off. Ready? Should I hit it right off the bat? I, I think that's a good idea. Dude, you feel the difference when I hit it? Alright, you guys watch and listen when I hit the nitrous button. You ready? Probably gonna use all the grass. I'm end up like one of them videos on Facebook and tail whip. Yep, <laughs> by a van. As ready as we'll ever be. He's filming us while we film him.
equipment freedom delivery van that you guys will see uh during the summer racing equipment burnout rivals on saturday at 6 p.m there's still smoke pop the door open probably a bunch back there <laughs> your parts might be a little smoky folks sorry about that Guys, I want to give a shout out to Summit though for uh, agreeing to be a part of this untraditional style advertising because this van is an absolute ripper. Yeah, dude, this is the new way of advertising and this van is an absolute ripper. Well, you gotta say, I mean, dude. I was just letting the smoke out so you didn't choke yourself. <laughs> I really want a dyno. We got a dyno after the show. I want to see what this thing makes now. Yeah. It's pretty solid on this It has a two piece dry shaft so it might not break. Yeah. All right, guys. Well, the Summit Racing Burnout Van is a freaking perfect ripper for the Burnout Rivals Comp on Saturday. Super excited. Spencer's going to be driving this thing. Uh, that's all I can say for now. Thanks for watching. Do it for Dale. We'll freaking see you later.